Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another Angular video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create reusable components in Angular. Now on the screen you can see I've got three models. So model 1, model 2 and model 3. Here I've got the code there. Now basically when you're running an Angular application, uh, you're going to have to figure out that what code can you write which can be reused across your application now in this case to demonstrate an example for example i'm going to go to uh, model 1 html file model 2 html file and model 3 html file so first of all let's take a look at this one the ion header has this title a button and then every time you click on that button this functions gets called now this will take me to model1.component.ts file and I have this function here. And the same function exists in a model2.component.ts file as well. If I open model3, it has the same function. Now you can see we are repeating ourselves. Now in the model, the content might be different, okay? But the header is always going to have this title and a button. So if I click on a model, I've got this title and I've got this button which calls a dismiss model function. And keeping that dismiss model function in our component TypeScript file, it's basically making me write it again and again. So if I have like 10 more models, I will have to inject this model controller. Also, I have to, have to write this uh, dismiss model function. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can reduce our code and create a separate component which will act as the header. And that way, we'll only have to write this dismiss model once. So let's go ahead and then start by creating a component which we will call model header. I'm going to right click and I'm going to use Angular Semantics, uh, PyTorm and WebStorm. Overall JetBrains IDs are pretty great. They come with this feature. Now I'm going to click on component and I'm going to say model header. When I click OK, it will generate a component for me. And now I have this model header. First of all, let's go to app module and I'm going to add that into Angular module file. So app module file. Let's save this. Okay, so now we got this injected into our module. I'm going to go to model one and I'm going to replace this ion header tag with model header component. First of all, let's go ahead and copy this bit and take that to a model header. I'm going to also go to model header component file and I'm going to inject private model controller all right and i'm going to go to one of the model component function and i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste that function here okay now what we've done here is we created the model header component and we added this dismiss model function there also it has the same ion header html also, I would like to reuse this into multiple models. So I would like to pass in this title from outside or let's say parent component. And also I want to make sure that I could pass in the name for my icon. So let's go to TypeScript file and here we are going to use input decorator. And I'm going to name this first of all header title. And that would be a type of string. And then I'm going to use another input decorator, also icon name, and that would be string as well. Now I'm going to go to, let's just close some of the files here. So keep this clean. All right, so here I'm going to replace this text and use header title and then for icon name i'm going to use this syntax from angular and i'm going to use icon name okay and we can also add more functionality by saying hey which slot that i want to use 
Right now it's just the start. Now we got this two input decorator, which will take the value from its parent component. And then we got this dismiss model function. Now let's reuse this model into our model files. So first of all, let's go and replace that ion header. Okay. And I'm going to use a model header component. Now this would expect header title and I will just say model one title. Okay. And then it's going to expect the icon name. So for now we'll just do close. Okay. Now let's try this. Let's refresh. Click on this model one. Now as you can see, it has a model one title, but no icon. So we have to wrap that in a single quotes as well. Okay, so if I click on the model and click on this cross button, it dismisses that. Now in this case, what we have done is we converted that, you know, ion header and long code into just one line. Now when I'm using this ion model, I'm going to go to component follow, uh, component one tab skip file and get rid of this function. Now I don't have to inject a model controller just to dismiss the model because maybe you don't really need to dismiss the model in your ion content of a model. So if I just close this by clicking on this button, it still works. Now, same thing, I'm going to go to ion, sorry, model two, and let's get rid of this as well. Okay. And then use app model header. And this would take title, which we can say, model to header and icon name we can give it uh for example i'm just gonna do lock let's save this now and let's take a look at model two now there's no icon called lock so i'm gonna go to the browser and I'm going to go to this website, Ionic Cons, and find some icon. So let's just use this one. And that is, uh, I don't know what it's about. I'm going to use this name. So let's copy this and paste that there and get rid of this. Now I'm going to go to my app, click on Model 2, and now we have that icon there. Okay, so again, I will go to model two component and get rid of this uh, dismiss function, which not required anymore. Let's save the file. And same thing we're going to do with the uh, model three. But one thing I want to show you why I had to wrap this into single quotes because I'm using this template syntax. So if I just get rid of that, I don't need this single quotes now because this is just a straight up value that we're putting into it. Okay, so let's close these two files and we're going to go and open model three. And now here this dismiss function, which is, you know, we're repeating ourselves. So we we'll do app model and then I'm going to use this icon name and let's find another icon. So for example, I use uh, something like, like probably this one. Okay. So it says pencil outline. So I'm going to paste that there. And all I need is this name, paste that there, delete that. And then header title, we just say model three title. All right. Now let's, take a look at our application if it's still working. So I've got three models, but all of these models are using this model header component. So basically I had to write a dismiss model function in all of three models, which I don't have to do anymore. Now, if you're working in a bigger team, once you have created this reusable component and everybody using that, 
throughout the application, which means if there is a problem, it will be in your model header. And it's easier to fix and debug as well because there's only one place that you get, you're going to have to search for an error.